Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to SA Carmen Criminal Reads. I hope everyone is doing well. I would like to wish you and your family a happy holidays. Stay safe and blessed and protected out there these holidays. So we are back with another timeless collective read, you guys. This is a criminal read, by the way. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please and thank you. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get ready to get into the message. Let's see what spirit has for you. Whoever may need this message, please and thank you, holy divine guardians, angels, ancestors, guides of the highest divine, supreme, purest energy source. Please and thank you, truth and clarity for our divine collective. Please and thank you, holy divine. So I'm just getting the decks cleansed. I'm getting the decks shuffled up. And we about to get into this message here, y'all. All right? So let's get ready to get into it. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Ooh, child. We already got some cards coming out here, honey. Hold up, y'all. Let me get this cleansed up. Get comfortable. I don't know why I feel like I got to get comfortable, y'all, for this read right here. What the hell's gonna come out? What is spirit about to reveal here? What is spirit about to reveal? Spirit want me to get one from this deck here for the overall energy here. I feel like spirit needs me to get one from this deck here is what I'm being called to get. I didn't intend to use this particular deck, but. Oh, child, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck, y'all, that I just picked up because spirit just called me to pull an overall message from this deck at the bottom of the deck. It says, if you do not, if you don't leave on your own, the universe will throw you out. Somebody, like, this give me the energy. Somebody not wanting to leave you alone. Somebody not wanting to leave a situation. Someone not wanting to leave something alone or let something go. And now the, you, this, the universe gave this person, the most high gave this person a chance to either leave something, leave you, leave a situation alone or leave a situation, leave someone Okay, to leave. Okay, and they did not want to choose to, to do that on their own. So the universe, the most high, is about to throw this person out. Your spiritual path is being illuminated here. You can already be on your spiritual path, on, on your spiritual path here. And something is being illuminated to you. Or someone's spirit has been calling for you to leave someone or something and spirit is saying, regardless of whether you're listening or paying attention, it's going to happen. Okay, that could be for someone here that's watching this message here. Or this could be someone else's energy, like I said. Let's get it. Everything happens for a reason. Overall energy that spirit wants you to know from this deck here. And you will soon understand why. Soon you're going to understand why something took place or something happened. This could be past energy or something that's going on right now. When that, something is about to happen... Something is about to go down. Something is about to be illuminated or something like that here. And Spirit is saying it's going to be very clear to you on why certain things happen, why certain things went down. And, and, and Spirit wants you to know that everything happens for a reason. That is about to be clear to you soon. You're about to understand why certain things happen. It's about to be made clear. It's about to be illuminated here. Okay? Yeah? At the bottom of the deck, it says, if you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. So something here that you've been wondering or thinking about, if this is going to happen, whatever this may be. And Spirit is saying the answer is yes here. I don't know what this is here, collective. But whatever, if you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. Um, Something that's been going on, something that's been taking place. Maybe you've been questioning, questioning. Or maybe just even reached out to your angels, your ancestors, to the most high. Like, why is this taking place? Why is this happening? Spirit said you will soon understand why there's been some things that's been happening or going on. You're soon going to understand why. Okay? So next we have, if you are going through a difficult time, connect with the divine for protection and guidance. They will hear you. They will hear you. You're not alone. So, like that's going back to what I just said. If you reached out to, to, to the most high, if you reached out to the divine, if you reached out to your ancestors, your angels, okay, for, for guardians, 
uh, your guardians, your your uh, family members that maybe have crossed over. Okay, if you reached out for some type of help or assistance or guidance or protection, then you have received that. You are receiving it. Okay, your ancestors want you to know that you're not, you're not alone here. It's some type of difficult time here that's been going on, difficulties that you've been experiencing or going through. Everything that has been going on and taking place, everything happens for a reason. And Spirit is saying soon you will understand why. Something that you've been wondering about or maybe even prayed about, okay? You wondering about if this is going to happen, the answer is yes. Maybe it's getting clarity. Maybe it's getting the answers here. Maybe that's what you ask God to show you. Maybe that's what you ask God to, to give you. Show you some type of clarity. Show you some type of answers. You ask God to give you divine protection and guidance. Spirit said, this is going to show up. This is going to happen. You're not alone. Everything that's been going on and happening for you or to you or, or with you, okay? Um, these difficult times, whatever this may be, Spirit is saying this, it all happened for a reason and you're about to see soon. Got the queen of swords here, okay? You very honest about something here, okay? You very honest about something. You protect it. Feel like you have a very protective energy and you are someone that has divine protection. You're very intelligent, very wise is what I'm getting here, okay? We got the page of pentacles in reverse. We got lost job, financial loss, lazy, no um, no groundwork. Somebody, is, somebody here collected... Somebody, um, I feel like somebody was dishonest here. Somebody was dishonest here. I feel like it could be, it could be a fit, fit, it's a queen of swords here. Someone, I feel like this person showing up as a queen of swords. This person showing up as someone that's very intelligent, witty, protective, and honest. But I feel like this person, this person could have even lost their job. This person could have even lost their job collector. This person could be experiencing some type of job loss or financial loss themselves. Okay, but what I'm getting here, I'm, pull, I'm being pulled to the energy of this person making you lose your job or trying to make you lose your job or making you experience some type of financial loss. This person not speaking the truth about you being, some, saying that you're lazy, saying that you don't put in any type of work. Okay, saying that you lose jobs, you can't keep jobs, saying that you don't have finances or you, you, you don't have instability because you don't have stability uh, because you're lazy or you can't keep a job because you're lazy. Also, if you're wondering if uh, this will happen, if you're wondering if the answer is yes, that this will happen, I feel like uh, spirit is clarifying for you. There's a Feminine energy, it possibly could be a male or a female, but I'm getting a queen of swords energy, okay? Spirit is saying here, this person showing up as a queen of swords, but spirit is saying if you're wondering if this person is going to lose their job, if you're wondering if this person is going to experience financial loss, if you're wondering if this person is weak and lazy and they're the ones that don't want to put in any type of groundwork, they're the ones that don't want to do any type of work, they're the ones that um, is lazy and want to you know, maybe use others, Spirit is saying then yes, the answer is yes. This person will lose their job or this person will lose financial stability here. This person probably will not be able to even get a job. If you're going through a difficult uh, time, connect with the divine for protection and guidance. They will hear you. You're not alone. Here, what else here? We got the four swords that's coming out here. Rest, um, recuperation, healing, and taking a break. You may have had to pour your energy back collecting. 
You may have had to pull your energy back and take some type of rest or break or rec recuperate or heal from something, from some type of difficult times that you have gone through here. Because of whatever these difficult times is, I feel like you had to like pull your energy back and recuperate from this situation here. You are guided to do this or you're being guided to do this. I feel like during this time, you receive some type of spiritual healing or you will receive the spiritual healing. Like somebody is laying down, resting here, and you see the lights here that's coming from above. You're receiving some type of healing, some type of healing energy. While you take this time to rest, recuperate, heal, and take a break, this could be something that you did, that you was guided to do, or something that you're being guided to do. Something about whatever you've been going through, it's been a lot. It's been a difficult time here. But all of this here has taken place and happened for a reason. It's a bigger picture behind whatever here has been going on. Something deeper here. Everything happens for a reason and you will soon understand why. got the king of swords here and, and, and on this end we got the queen of swords look at that this represents somebody that's intelligent too remember i said it could be a masculine or a feminine okay somebody that has mental clarity or this could even be an authority figure this could even be an authority figure here these could be authority figures here That's showing up upright. Spirit, clarify this King of Swords. And everything happens for a reason. And you will soon understand why. <laughs> Y'all, we got the, the food coming out here in reverse here. Someone that's gullible, reckless, holding back, distracted. And over here, we got the page of pentacles in reverse here next to the queen of swords. Representing lost job here, financial loss, lazy, no groundwork. Then over here, we got the, the fool in reverse, holding back, recklessness, Gullible, distracted. Somebody has been holding back here. Somebody been holding back something here. Somebody been holding back here on something. This could be an authority figure. This King of Swords could also represent authority. This could even be some type of masculine that's like some type of Father figure, leader, authority figure. This person could be an official person, but they don't have to be. Very soon, you're going to find out why you've been going through these difficult times here. Very soon, you're going to find out why here. Somebody has been holding back some information or holding back something. And I feel like it's information. Okay, somebody has been holding back information here. I feel like whoever this is that's been holding back information, they've been very reckless. They've been very reckless. Okay, somebody wanted you to be gullible. Somebody wanted you to be distracted. And if there are distractions that's been going on, because I am getting this already out here with the overall energy, you are going through some type of difficult times or have gone through some difficult times. Okay. So somebody definitely wanted you to be gullible and be distracted. Spirit is saying all of these distractions, all of these things that's been going on, this reckless energy and behavior, all of these difficult times that you have experienced here, it's all going to be illuminated to you. Soon you will understand why all of these things have been going on. Soon and very soon is what I'm hearing.
It could be an authority figure here that knows about this. This is what I'm getting here. Um, that's been holding back information. Yeah, this is about a ten of swords here. A, a, a betrayal. A major, huge betrayal. Okay? This is what this is about. Someone catty, very catty here. The Queen of Wands energy in reverse. Okay, I feel like it's, I don't know, collective. I feel like it's a feminine energy here. But she's trying to show up upright. Okay, she's trying to show up upright here. It's what I'm getting here. I feel like uh, whoever this female is collected, someone is trying to act shy or act intelligent or someone is trying to act protective or honest. Someone that's trying to show up as self is very confident. Someone that's self-conscious. Someone that's, you know, I feel like this person, someone that's conscious. This person is overbearing. This person is catty. And I feel like this person is going into poverty. This person about to experience hardship, sickness, because of some type of scandal here, possibly. It could be two people here. It could be a queen of swords and a queen of, uh, and a king of swords, a masculine and a feminine energy. Whoever this feminine is, this person lost their job or they're about to lose their job. And it's out here double time with the queen of wands in reverse here. I'm sorry, with the five of pentacles here upright and the uh, page of uh, pentacles in reverse. This person is experiencing financial loss right now, this moment, or this is about to happen. Poverty, hardship, sickness. It's about to hit them. overbearing, catty, but wants to be seen as honest, wants to be seen as a protective type energy, a protector of others, wants to be seen as someone that's very intelligent, wants to be seen as someone that's stable here, okay? Spirit is saying whatever these difficult times that you've been going through here, this um distractions that's been going on in your life, this reckless behavior, energy that's been uh, sent your way, it's because of your nine of cups here. It's because of your nine of cups, your wealth, your luck, your pride, your protection, your um. You being very blessed here. Your accomplishments here. Okay? Spirit, what else do you want to get a collective here? For this four swords energy? Hey, we got the nine of pentacles coming out, y'all. You see that shooting over there? See how they shot out the deck here? This is about luxury, profit, success, a home, a foundation. That's going back to your abundance, your wealth, right? Okay? This is why this, you've been going through these difficult times here. Because of your nine of cups and your nine of pentacles and the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. That's the truth. Somebody been holding back some type of truth here. Okay, they've been holding back some truth, but it's a breakthrough that's taking place. You're about to get some type of truth here. You're about to be successful here and getting down to some truth. Everything happens for a reason and you will soon understand why. The truth is coming in here. It's a certain reason why this person was not bringing in some type of mental clarity or not bringing in some type of truth. It's a re truth. It's a reason why this person was holding back here. Holding back here. I'm bringing in the truth here. Spirits that you soon going to find out why I understand why. 
I don't know if this damn, I don't know if this masculine is connected to this um this feminine energy over here, like a personal connection in some type of way. These people are separated in this reading here. Okay. I'm not sure, but we're gonna get a little deeper into it to see to get some more clarity here. Can I get one more for this last row here? With this king of swords, ace of swords, and the fool in reverse. We got the Ace of Wands. This is about some type of new beginnings here. A creative spark for some new beginnings. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck again here. About wealth, luck, accomplishments. You're trying to accomplish wealth. You're trying to accomplish adventure. Creative. Being creative. Okay. Having starting some new beginnings here, having some new beginnings. I feel like you're going to get the truth and understand why it's been difficult times for you. Maybe trying to build or create, maybe trying to start a new beginning, maybe taking adventures here or venturing off into different things. You're going to get some type of clarity soon on why it's been hard for you to do these things here. Somebody has been holding back information. Somebody has been holding back the truth here. Somebody has been holding back here. Bringing you in some type of mental clarity on whatever this situation is or things that's been happening to you and been taking place in your life. I feel like whatever you're about to get this confirmation on or insight about, I feel like it's something about you living a luxurious life here. It's something about you receiving some type of profit or something like that. It's something about you being successful here. Achieving a successful home. Okay? We're going to clarify on why this person has been holding back information. Why have they been holding back and bringing in the truth? What is the connection here? The she is the connection is greed. The nine of cups here in the four of pentacles. The connection is possessiveness, control, greed, because of wealth, because of pride. Somebody wants to accomplish here, hoarding or holding on to something here that wasn't theirs or didn't belong to them, being very greedy and controlling some type of wealth. This is someone that has a this very prideful, very egotistical. Okay, and this person wants to accomplish your nine of cups. Yo, they want to accomplish your nine of pentacles here. They wanted to have a luxurious life. They wanted to profit off of something that's yours here. I'll profit off of you in some type of way. They wanted to be successful here in achieving a home and, and, and luxury. Okay. But they still don't tell us what's the connection. We know that the connection is greed. We know that the connection is, is this person, someone, somebody here wanting wealth, someone wanting control. Okay, but what's the connection? We're going to get into it. Maybe there's some type of split between a feminine and a masculine energy here. Okay, there was some type of breakup or split or something like that. And somebody want to hold on to some type of money or hold on to a luxurious lifestyle or some shit. I'm not sure. Let's see. You could also be the queen of swords or the king of swords here. Someone that speaks the truth. You could be a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Someone that's very honest. Someone that's very intelligent. Someone that's very uh, protective of themselves and others. Someone that has mental clarity on, you know, maybe what's been going on here, okay? Someone that's an authority figure or some type of leader in others' lives. Someone that's very logical, okay? But Spirit, let's clarify. Give me one for this Queen of Swords energy here. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles upright and Queen of Swans in reverse here. If you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. What is this?
Yeah, we got the two of wands here coming out in reverse. Okay, so this is lack of, of foresight. This is delayed opportunities, closed off, fear of failure here. This is this 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 feminine energy. This person is is fearful. They have they are in fear of failure. This is someone that's closed off right now. This is someone here that's been trying to delay opportunities for you. This is someone here collected that has a lack of foresight. This person just doing shit. They don't care about the outcome or they didn't look into the outcome. They didn't look into or even care about what what this was going to turn out or how this was going to end up. This person doesn't see what's ahead is what I'm getting here. Okay? Or they didn't see what was ahead. They didn't see what was ahead. Okay? Is what I'm getting. And we got the five of cups here coming out in reverse. Okay? So, I do feel like this person is, you moved on, you healed from something here. This is connected to a feminine energy. You moved and you healed and you moved on here. Okay? This person may be hoping that there, that, that, that there could be some type of forgiveness here. But spirit is saying here, this person uh, tried to delay, has been delaying opportunities for you. Okay? This person wanted you to be closed off, separated from others. Because this person been in fear of failure. This person was in fear of failing as far as accomplishing, living a luxurious life, accomplishing, um, receiving or profiting off of you by stopping you, by blocking you, that they could elevate. This is what they in fear of failure. So that they cannot beat you and block you so that they can elevate. Um, but they hoping for forgiveness. But you moving on. You healing. So if you're wondering if a feminine energy here that's been coming against you will lose their job and experience financial loss and won't be able to get work. If, you look, if you're wondering if the answer is yes to um, this person here uh, collected, um, this person here, you know, losing here. This person here losing. This person here um, experiencing poverty and hardship and sickness. If you're wondering if this person is going to get karma, what spirit is saying, yes. These are all the things that this person is going to have to go through and endure. This is the karma that they're going to get. For trying to delay opportunities for you. From trying to have some type of control and power and dominance over you. To where it would allow them to live a luxurious life. That it, to where it would allow them to profit and succeed. But not you. If you're wondering if this person is going to get karma. Spirit is saying the answer is yes. And Spirit just told you everything that's about to happen for this person here. Let's do the four of swords. Let's do the nine of pentacles. And let's do this middle row here. Give me one here, spirit. Please and thank you, holy divine. Four of swords, nine of pentacles here for the middle row. Thank you, please and thank you. Yeah. Justice. The scale's about to be balanced in this situation here, Collective. After going through these difficult times in your life, okay? All you, you got to the point to where you called on God, you called on Divine, you called on the Most High. You said, protect me and guide me. Protect me and guide me. Okay? Protect me and guide me. There's some type of spiritual laws that may have been broken, but I'm getting definitely laws on the earth have been broken here. It's a cause and effect here to this situation. Clarity and truth is coming in here. You're about to get clarity and truth. Even if you knew certain things was going on, even if you knew certain individuals were doing things, okay, even if you had some type of spiritual clarity or truth, you ask God for divine clarity. On the 3D. You ask God to give you some type of 3D clarity. On this situation. You ask God to give you some type of 3D clarity here. About your will of fortune. The will is turning in your favor. You the star. The will is turning in your favor. You are the star here. You are the star collected. Okay. 
Spirit is saying there's a change that's taking place. The wheel is turning here. And the reason why this wheel is turning is because it's part of destiny here. There's a turning point in this situation here. Luck is definitely surrounding you. You're very blessed. Okay. There's a completion of a cycle that's taking place and a new beginning that's taking place as well. And spirit is just laying it out. There's a there could be this could be a male or a female, but someone definitely has been holding back the truth. Somebody somebody has been holding back, coming in and giving you some type of clarity on the 3D. Okay. And spirit is saying this is about to be revealed to you. When this person comes towards you collecting or when you get this information, because I don't know if it's going to be this particular person or not. But when you get this information, you're going to soon understand why this person was holding back. You're going to understand why this person was holding back, coming in, bringing the truth out here, the truth to you. It's a turning point here that's taking place. Okay, there's a breakthrough here, though. When this truth is revealed to you and it's and illuminated, this is going to be a breakthrough for you. This is going to lead to new success here, new opportunities, new beginnings for you. Creative sparks is going to take place. Okay? You're going to find out why. Spirit, what is the reason? Clarify this king of swords in this um in this full in reverse. What is this here? Clarify this energy. Why is this full in reverse here? So we got the two of swords here upright. We got judgment in reverse here. And we got the ten of cups upright. This person been holding back some information here collected about a married couple. It could be a marriage that they're in. Or it could be about a married couple. It could be even about family here with a happy family reunion, happy endings. It could be about family members of this person. It could be about their own family. It could be their marriage. Or it could be about a married couple here. Okay? Somebody did not maybe have any type of self-awareness. Or they had doubts. Or they ignored some type of information on purpose. This person here had a tough decision to make with the two of swords here. This person had a tough decision to make. And they were stuck in the middle. This is someone that's been stuck in the middle here. Okay? This person could have possibly been blind to the full truth of whatever this is here. But once they realized what the truth was, they were stuck in the middle between you and someone else. Or you and others. I feel like here, this, this masculine energy on this side and this queen of energy on this side, this could definitely be a married couple. Or this could be someone here collective that is part of a family. They're, they're connected to a family. If this person is not this person's wife or uh, husband here, okay, collective, if this person is not this person's husband, then this person, this female energy is this person's family member or something like that. Or they're connected to your family. I feel like there's some type of um, the information that this person been holding back is connected to your, it could be connected to your family here or their family or something like that. It's connected to your happy beginnings here. It's connected to endings that's going to lead to happiness and new beginnings for you. Somebody had a tough decision to make here or they're having to make a tough decision in this moment right now. They stuck in the middle here between something because I feel like whatever they could not see, then they definitely see now. They was blind to the truth because of some type of family. 
Either they have a family with this feminine energy or this is a family member of this person. They was blinded to the truth. And if this is not a family member of this masculine, then this could be a friend, a family friend, something like that. This person ignored their calling. Whatever they do, they have a calling. They have to do a certain mission or job. They're being, they were called to do something. They ignored their calling. And I feel like they they, they, they ain't gotten themselves stuck, stuck in the middle and caught in the middle here of some type of family feud or family situation here. Whether this feminine is their wife or their family member or whether this is your family member collective, this female, and this person is like a family friend or some shit like that or a family member of yours. Or this could be this person's wife that got in trouble. But you about to understand so why this person was holding back. And I just broke it down to you. It's going to be either one of those things that you're going to get confirmation on why this person chose to hold back, bringing in some type of clarity. This is an authority figure. Yeah, look at the top of the deck. The three of pentacles represent teamwork, creativity. These people created something here. By working together as a team. And this person chose to do this. They had a decision and choice to make and they chose to do this. They chose to hold back bringing you in some information. To bringing you in some information surrounding your will of fortune. Surrounding your nine of cups, your ten of pentacles. Okay? And your, your, ten, your ten of cups. And that's the truth. This is the reason why you have not um, received any type of clarity or truth or any type of information on the 3D here because this is why you've been going through these difficult times. It's been difficult for you to get ahead or some type of something here. Spirit said because these people put in teamwork, they make, they work together. They was very creative together. A masculine and a feminine. They both showing up as the king and queen of swords here. Both of these people represent two people that's very intelligent, very creative, know how to push it together. I feel like this masculine may not have seen the truth of something at first, but when this masculine did wake up to the truth, they still had a choice and a decision to make and they chose to work with this feminine energy. They chose to work with this feminine energy for the nine of cups here. Wealth. Okay? Wealth. They want to accomplish wealth. With the nine of pentacles, they want to accomplish luxury, a luxurious life, success, profit, good, nice homes. These could be individuals that's in the law. This person right here could be a law official. This person could be a law official. Both of these people could. Or one or the other is. But I'm definitely getting this, this uh, king of swords he is here. Justice system. Law. Could you give us information on what the collective uh, will be getting soon? It says everything happens for a reason and you will soon understand. What would the collective soon understand? King of Cups here. Masculine energy. King of Swords energy here. Okay. The High Priestess energy here. Six of Cups energy. Seven of Wands here. And we got the eight, the, I'm sorry, the strength in reverse. What you're going to understand soon when you get this information here collective is that somebody was self-doubt. Somebody was very weak. Somebody was very insecure. And somebody lacked courage because they was caught in the middle here between you and others or you and a feminine energy. Okay. You could be a high priestess energy. This is why this person didn't want to come forward towards you. Because you can see. You're very intuitive. Okay. Spirit is saying here. 
you someone that's very compassionate, caring, affectionate, and friendly. And you also very intuitive here. You very tapped in. You listen to your inner voice. Your third eye is wide open. Okay? This is someone that hasn't, this is someone that's in the energy of looking back over old memories. Someone that's having nostalgia. Somebody that's looking back over the past. Someone that's reflecting. Because they're doing this because whoever this queen of swords is here that they connected to, this person been protecting that person. This person been protecting that feminine energy. Like I said, this could be someone that they're married to. Or this could be like their family member. Or like a, a, a friend of the family here. Okay? This is what I'm getting here. These people didn't know you was bad already. With the seven of ones. They didn't know that you was going to stand up for yourself like you have been. They didn't know that you was going to be assertive here. Okay? In this situation. They didn't know you was the high priest or high priestess. Yes, this person was blind at some point, but then they the, the they 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 saw for, saw the situation for what it was, and they had a choice and decision to make in that moment, and they chose to still do wrong, to still work against you, to still protect and cover the ass of this feminine energy, and that's the truth. How is the collective going to get this information? How is this going to soon be revealed to and illuminated to the collective? We got the world here, upright, and then we got the seven of swords in reverse here. Look, look, did y'all hear what I just asked? I said, how is this going to be illuminated or revealed to the collective soon? How is this going to be illuminated to you? It says everything happens for a reason and you will soon understand why. I said, how is this going to be illuminated and revealed to the collective? Because guess what this seven of swords represent in reverse? Somebody confessing a confession. Or somebody being caught red-handed, collected. Or something weighing on somebody's conscience, collected. Somebody ignoring the warnings here. And now they caught up and they got caught red-handed, collected. It's going to show up and come to you. It's going to be illuminated in one of these forms or ways. Either this person going to get caught red-handed doing something. Or this is going to weigh on somebody's conscience. So they're going to confess this. Or something like that. Okay? This is how you're going to find out. And we got achievement. The world represents achievement. Successful endings. Okay? Spirit is saying a completion of a cycle is taking place. I already told you in new beginnings as well. You about to achieve getting the answers you need surrounding all of this shit that's been going on here. There's successful endings that's taking place, the closing of a cycle here successfully for you. Okay, somebody going to get caught red-handed or somebody is going to just confess because this is weighing on their conscience. This is how you're going to get down to the bottom of the truth here. This is how you're going to get the information you need. This is how you're going to get clarity. This is how it's going to come in. All right, yep. So, you know, let's get a little deeper into it. You know, let's see exactly what exactly this Queen of Swords here. <laughs> Y'all, we got a neighbor that's coming out in reverse here. This queen of swords here, collective, could be someone's neighbor. Or this could be someone that used to be your neighbor. Somewhere where, where you used to live or reside. This could be like an old neighbor or someone that's a neighbor that's an op that's been coming against you. That you don't know about. It. This could be someone that's around you now, a neighbor around you now, or some a neighbor from your face. Y'all, we got assassination coming out in reverse. What the hell is going on, y'all? Did I leave my stuff up there? Dang. Collecting this person tried to assassinate you or plan to do this here. And if this person is not a neighbor or once was a neighbor, then this person uh, enlisted a neighbor 
someone from an old neighborhood or someone from the neighborhood now where you're at. Someone that may be hidden in the neighborhood to assassinate you. A feminine energy. Yeah, we got power supply in reverse here. Spirit is saying this person been pulling from you energetically or pulling from you financially in some type of way, profiting off of you in some type of way. You have been this person's power supply, this female energy, and that's no longer. She can no longer pull from your energy. You can no longer be this person's power supply. So this person sent in a neighbor from an old neighborhood or a neighbor that is just hidden in plain sight to assassinate you. Who is this queen of swords? This is someone that's been causing distractions for you. This is who this queen of swords is here. Okay, this person may have even been causing distractions around your neighborhood. Okay, around where you live. Around where you reside at. Okay, maybe some of you guys left a neighborhood or left a community. Or this is something that you're trying to do. Okay, something about neighborhood in reverse and distractions. Okay, yeah, a feminine energy here. Okay, this is someone that's very intelligent, how they move collective. But they're a cold person. Okay, they're cold hearted. All right, give me more uh, clarity here. Give me more clarity on this Queen of Swords energy here. Spirit said, yeah, look what's coming out, homicide. This person trying to distract you so they can send a neighbor in to assassinate you here and commit a homicide here. Okay? Spirit, give me more energy on this Queen of Swords here. Spirit wants you to know this is about some life insurance policies here. Life insurance in reverse. This person got a life insurance on you. I'm sorry. Someone could have left a life, left you um, something here from a life insurance policy collected. Or this person has a life insurance policy on you and they want to cash in on it. Okay? And they want to cash in on it. Or this is some type of life insurance policy that this person already cashed in on. That you've been their power supply the whole damn time here. Okay? Or they have been, you have been this person's power supply on other, on something else that they may have been like profiting off of or being successful on taking from you. And now this person want to cast in on a life insurance policy to eat off of you again by assassinating you and taking you out. Spirit said you no longer could be this person's power supply. Spirit said this person will not be able to assassinate you. Spirit say this neighbor is going to get ghosts or there or the authorities are going to get this person, either one or the other. Spirit is saying here these distractions that's being created, these difficult times that you're going through is because of feminine energy trying to commit a homicide. It's not going to happen. Assassination in reverse, power supply in reverse, life insurance in reverse. It's not going to happen. This person about to go into poverty, hardship, and sickness. This person about to lose it all, y'all. And I don't mind at all, do you? I feel like you already asked spirit if this person was going to get karma. You probably know who this person is. Or if you didn't know exactly who the person was, you said whoever attacking me, whoever causing these difficult times in my life, I want them to get karma. Is this going to happen? Spirit said the answer is yes. And spirit told you already everything is about to take place with this feminine energy. Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Justice. Y'all, this is some type of secret society here that's trying to bury you. There might be every other burials. That's, 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 this, these people might have other burials. Someone, it could be multiple people in this secret society, or it could just be this person here, this feminine energy. This person could be the head of a secret society, or they're a, they're a member of a secret society. Okay, and this person is trying to create a barrier for you. They want you buried. This is what their goal is here. This is what their goal is here. This is what their goal is here. Okay, but spirit is laying out here secret society. This person has been wearing this mask here. They're going to, they need to be planning for their own damn burial.
the reason why you've been going through all these difficult times here in this conflict collective, okay, and these distractions and disturbances and shit is because somebody, the head of a secret society or that is involved in this secret society, whoever this feminine energy is, this person wanted your to, to this person wanted you buried. You can't you can't you can't not say it ain't that assassination. Homicide? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. You definitely been going, you definitely been through a whole effing lot. Give me multiple peoples in this secret society here that's been causing chaos and conflict for you. Because they want to live a luxurious life, they want a luxurious homes. They want to profit off of you and to be successful and profiting off of you, your wealth, your good energy. Wanted you to be their power supply and shit. Wow. That's better right there. I don't know what to say about some folk. It is what it is, shit. People want to go around being this energy shit. Ain't nothing you or me could do about it. I allow people to be exactly who they damn are. It is what it is. Hold up, y'all. Give me one second, please. Y'all, I don't understand people. Give me everything happens for a reason, and you will soon understand for the divine collective, and that's the truth with the ace of swords out here collective. This message is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Y'all, I don't know what the hell this is, but we got a celebrity revenge and new world order. Collective, this could be a celebrity that's been attacking you. You can be somebody that's a celebrity or someone that's seen in the public eye. Or this person that's want revenge on you is some type of celebrity, some new world order type shit. This person trying to have some type of stance in the world, trying to create their world, their reality. But by stealing and taking some shit from you or taking you out. I don't really know. You may be connected to a celebrity. It, this masculine energy could be a celebrity collective. This female could be a celebrity that's in a secret society here. Hollywood is very significant. It's a celebrity wants revenge on you or someone wants revenge on you because you're 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 celebrity or you're 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 uh elevated to a celebrity status or something like that. I feel like you're going to find out collective shit. Some of y'all going to find out. Um, some of y'all are going to find out that a celebrity has been the one creating chaos and conflict for you in your life. So a celebrity has been trying to take some revenge on you. Some of y'all are going to find out this year. This may be the reason why you it's been some type of chaos, conflict, or confusion. This could definitely be someone that's on the TV screen. Someone that's being seen for others in the world to see. You could be this celebrity or you could be someone that's about to be a celebrity collected. A celebrity here is very significant. We got accomplished partner in crime, y'all. It's a celebrity here that's involved in this here. Clarify this queen of swords. 
this is someone that's jealous of you, this queen of swords energy, this feminine energy. This person is, this, we already know that this person is creating it or calling for the distractions to be done or something like that. This person is the one that called for this assassination, called for this homicide to take place. This is someone that's angry, y'all. This is someone that's jealous, y'all. Okay. This person jealous, they angry. This is someone here that's screaming behind the scenes here, kicking shit, punching shit, tearing up shit. They own shit now because they cannot use you as their power source and power supply any fucking longer. This is how this person is, like, screaming like that. Look at this shit. This is an angry, hateful, jealous, envious person, bro. It's some type of cleanup that's going on here. This is some type of evil shit right here. Whoever this person is, this feminine energy, this person could be the head of a secret society or they're a part of a secret society. This person is very fucking evil, like I already said. Very jealous, very envious, very damn, a nasty person. Okay, very nasty. And Spirit is saying, uh, collective, that this person is trying to clean up some shit now. Or there's a cleanup that's taking place. Yep, it's been a lot of lies going on too. It's been a whole lot of lies going on too. It could be a law official here that I got, I just saw the thumbs up. It could be a law official that, uh, and then I just saw yes. Okay, and, and this person is sad as well as angry. Okay, I just saw yes for the thumbs up. It's 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 a law official. Okay, collective that's being called. Okay, or that's being um brought in to clean this up. Y'all, we got the government in reverse here. It's a law official. It's someone here that works in the government. It's connected to the government. Okay. Also, this person is connected to people in the government or someone in particular in the justice system or the government. This justice also represents the law. Okay. It's a cleanup that's going on here because of the evil ass feminine energy that's in this secret society that's evil that's been doing shit that's angry that's possessive that's controlling that's a narcissist that's jealous and a fucking murderer it's a cleanup that may be going on in the justice system it's a cleanup that may be going on in the government it's a cleanup that's going on with law officials here because there's been some evil shit going on here. And this is injustice. All of these lies are about to be cleared up here. Nothing but lies and lies and lies and lies. A whole goddamn document and book full of damn lies. A whole damn folder full of lies. Lies. Somebody in the government, somebody in the justice system, someone here that's a law official or something like that has been called in to clean this shit up. They don't want the government or the law or the justice system to be looked at as liars. 
They don't want to be seen or connected to this evil person. They don't want to have any parts or connections. They don't want it to be seen or known to others that they have a part or a connection to this secret society or this evil person that's the head of this secret society or a part of this secret society. The government is called in or someone in particular is called in to clean this shit up. This could be about a parental figure. This could be around or about a parental figure. This could be a parental figure here in the government. Or this could be about your parental figure. You see the parent and the child? Somebody got a parental figure here that's a serial killer. And this person been behind the scenes doing rituals and shit. This person been doing you know, causing disasters, causing deaths for people and trying to make it seem like it's natural causes. Okay? This person been doing this shit for years. Or there's a serial killer here that's part of this secret society or part of the law or the government or the justice system that may have taken out or murdered a parental figure. They did something here. They're doing rituals. They're doing rituals. They're trying to cause, they've been causing deaths, being serial killers, causing deaths, but trying to make it seem like it's natural causes. But it's rituals and things that's been going on behind the scenes. Also sending in assassins as well. Spirit, give me the energy of this damn celebrity. We got affluent in reverse. These are affluent individuals here. Whoever this celebrity is here, this is someone that's affluent or they're connected, they're connected to affluent people. You may be someone here connected that's connected to a celebrity that you don't know about. Affluent individuals here that they did not want you to find out about. Your bloodline, your DNA. It's a lot of propaganda and fake news here that's being spread to get revenge on you. It's a lot of drama that's going on and chaos and conflict and difficult times that you have to have to endure because of this new world order shit here. Give me accomplished and partner. We got strangulation here. Somebody here is accomplice in crime here that was called in as well here to do a strangulation. Also, it's something about suicides as well here. Collective spirit is laying out. Whoever this damn person is, these people are, they've been causing deaths. They are responsible for deaths of many people. I just need to know what's who, like, what is the celebrity and revenge energy? Look what's coming out, death. Somebody want revenge on you here because you know about a death or... They just want revenge on you. Something about a death. They could have took revenge on your parent, on your parental figure. Your parental figure could have been a government official or someone in the justice system or a lawmaker. This could even be a grandparent or some type of parental figure here. Great-grandparent, grandparent, parent. You're connected to an influent background, affluent people. Affluent family. You're connected to maybe even celebrities here. Your family could be a celebrity or your family member. There was a death here of a celebrity. There was a death of a parental figure. There was a death of someone here that was in the government, the justice system, a lawmaker or something like that. Because someone wanted revenge on this parental figure here. This was some type of New World Order shit. Okay, they made something look like natural causes. They made something look like a suicide. They made something look like something that it wasn't. 
This is something that they've been going around doing to different people here. We got the military. Somebody that was in the military here crossed over. They could have made this person seem like they crossed over a different type of way than what really took place. Yeah, it's some secrets here. It's a whole lot of secrets, y'all. Excuse me. It's a whole lot of secrets here. I want to know, like, I want to get more information, like, why is this revenge? Why they want revenge on you? Why have they been doing this to you? I feel like this is going back before your time. I feel like whatever is taking place for you now in your life collective is connected to a parental figure, whether this is your parent, your grandparent, your great-grandparents, or something like that. Something that was going on between them and other people. High ranking, okay, well known, affluent people in, in, in society, in the world, in the community. Okay, it's something about your bloodline here that maybe you don't know about. Something happened to this parental figure when you was a child, very young. You probably don't have any memories of this here. And this is why this has leaked over into your life. This is why you've gone through so many tough, difficult times, crazy moments, different shit in your life, okay? It's because of something connected to your past, but before you even, you know, was able to just move and get around good, before you, your brain was even fully developed, okay? It was things that was going on with people in your family, your DNA, your bloodline that was going on with other individuals. Things that had transpired and took place behind the scenes that leaked over into your life. These people know who child you are or grandchild or great-grandchild you are. Your grandparent, like I said, could have been a government official. They could have been a law official. They could have worked in a judicial system. They could have been a celebrity or something like that. But I do feel like these people took your loved one out. And now these people have been working to take you out because whatever your loved one, whatever type of wealth or stability or generational wealth or finances, okay, that they left for you, these people have been eating off of this shit. They've been eating off of this shit. What's the revenge and fake news? I feel like you exposed the devil here. You exposed some type of fake news and lies. You exposed a damn demon, a devil, and they want to revenge on you. Somebody wants to be successful at freezing you, keeping you frozen, not being able to do anything, move, okay, keeping you frozen, maybe even freezing your money, freezing your assets, making sure that you froze in your steps. Making sure that you cannot be successful in any type of way. A devil energy. Somebody committed treason here. And this is why they want revenge because I feel like this was exposed. The fake news, the fake propaganda, the lies, the cover up, the devilish energy, the treason, this murdering energy, this stealing wealth and abundance and stealing... Um, Stealing people's generational wealth and shit. Something was exposed. You exposed this or someone else exposed this here. And this is why these people want to take me. This is why they've been working against you to take revenge on you. Even if you didn't know details, even if you didn't know that it got this deep, even if you didn't know certain details or certain things. You started speaking about something. You started exposing maybe the things that was going on in your life, the things that was taking place, the things that was being done to you, happening to you. You started speaking about this or you spoke about this some type of way. And you, you exposed some type of fake news propaganda. You exposed a devilish dark energy here. You exposed some type of treason. You exposed some type of lies. And they want revenge. You expose some type of drama that may have gone on at a school or something that took place at a school. Or 
What else, Holy Divine? I don't know if you exposed that there was some type of molestation or some type of um, funneling or something that went on. You could expose this as a, as a child. You could have told a grandparent or a parent or a great grandparent, okay, or some type of parental figure that someone had touched you at school or someone had, you know, inappropriately did something or said something or touched you. You could have told a parent or a parental figure about this here. It was some type of drama that went on when you was a child as well about something that happened at a school. This could also be about your child if you are a parental figure. This could be about your child. Some type of drama that went on at a school with your child as well here. Spirit said whatever it may be, all of this drama... All of these difficult times, all this chaos, distractions, confusion, stress, it's all because of your inheritance, your spiritual inheritance, your earthly inheritance. It's all because of your family, your bloodline, your DNA that you have no clue about. It's all because of you have royalty, you have you have financial, okay, abundance here that, that, that belongs to you. That other people have been eating off of here. You are their power supply. But Spirit said no longer. Power supply in reverse. Yep, look what's coming out. Power in reverse. Somebody had lost the power here. Somebody is success is it wanted to be successful in gaining some type of power or just keeping and maintaining the power so that they can keep using you, keep taking from you, keep using you as their power supply. And Spirit said, no, it's a 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 no. These people want to come in and take you out to steal your power so that they can maintain and keep the power. Spirit said, it's a no. Give me this last row here. Got look what we got coming out for the last row, family. Family. These people wanted you to take yourself out here. Okay, this family here. Okay, collector, you could be living with a, a false family, a fake family. Okay, you could be living with a fake family or a false family. Or like I said earlier, somebody has a parental figure here that's a serial killer. Someone that does rituals. Someone that's involved in a secret society. Someone that's been trying to sacrifice them, your, their own child. Okay? Family that's been trying to sacrifice you. But for someone, I'm getting this ain't even your real family. I'm getting this ain't even your real family. Okay? These people that was called in paid to be your family. Okay, yeah, look, I can't make it up. It's something about your bloodline here. Okay, it's something about your family and your bloodline here, okay? Okay, Spirit said it's a cult here. This cult is by some mountains or there they have some type of coven in the mountains or by some mountains. Or this person is a cult leader or a part of this cult. We already got secret society out here. They're by the mountains or in the mountains. Okay, Spirit said law enforcement... It's a masculine energy here. They know that someone in this cult is a masculine and this person is hiding out in the mountains somewhere. This person could be someone that's in law enforcement. This could be someone here that's been behind the scenes trying to blackmail other people that's included in these crimes. This person has been hiding out. This person could be a law enforcement agent or law enforcement is watching this person. Okay? Okay. It's a cult of individuals. It's official people, government individuals, law officials here that's connected to your family, to you, to people from in, that, that's connected to your bloodline that that, that came before you collected. Uh, it's people that came against your family. They came against your bloodline. 
a mass a masculine government official or a masculine um law official or something like that someone that's in law of enforcement or something this person came against your bloodline this person was the one that came against your family or your parental figure Because what I'm getting here is something about the family that you are in now or the family that you was raised with. Spirit, give me more clarity on that. Spirit said these motherfuckers uh, did something here to get out of debt so they could be debt free. The family that you was raised with or the family that you around now that you know it to be your family is something about them being debt free. It's something about them being debt free, okay? Spirit said they're not connected to God. God in reverse. They made some deals that wasn't connected to God. They made some deals that did not come from God, that did not come from the Most High in order to live a debt-free fucking life. The family that you was raised with or that you're around now that you know is your family. And this is not going to resonate with everybody. But y'all, please use your own discernment and tap into your own intuition and higher knowing so that you can reson up, so that you can distinguish and, and know what's for you and what's not for you. Give me the energy on the collective's family right now in this moment that may be still around the collective or the family that the collective was raised with or by. We got water supply. We already got power supply. It's something about you being their water supply. Something about you being able to, the water is giving me nourishment. The water is giving me like um, being able to have enough nourishment. Okay, never being able to go thirsty, never being able to thirst for anything. You were these this family's supply line. You were their power supply. You was their water supply collected. They agreed to take you as their own. They agreed to watch you. They, they agreed to be over your life, your handler. But justice is coming in for you. Justice is going to be served here for you. And this is also giving me this justice energy again. Lawmaker, government, justice system. Spirit is saying it's somebody connected to the justice system. A lawmaker, a government official that proposition the people that you know to be your family collected. Okay. Spirit said they proposition these people. And they said, okay, good, we'll do it. Spirit said, if you, Spirit said, this lawmaker said, if you watch this child and, and you create a life, okay, so when this child thinks you're their real family, you will never have to worry about anything ever again. You'll never have to be in debt ever again. But Spirit said, this deal that was made with this justice person here, it, it wasn't something of, of God's doing it wasn't something that came from the most high it wasn't something that god is pleased with this offer it was not connected to god it was not connected to the most high god in reverse here this was something that came from uh below not above you was kidnapped you was kidnapped it's a theft here it's a theft. You was kidnapped as a child. Okay? It's a theft here. Somebody stole something here. They've been stealing from you. They took your, your parental figure out. And then they, they knew that you had shit set up for you. When you supposed to got to a certain place in your life, you were supposed to get confirmation or information. You were supposed to get things that was turned over to you, handed over to you. And it never took place. But this was all part of the plan before you even, like I said, before your brain was even fully developed. This was all part of the plan. This was all part of these people's plan from your parent or grandparent or great parents generation leading all the way up to you now. This is something that's been continuing on and on and on. But Spirit said you breaking these generational curses and cycles. You the one that's doing this here. We got a couple coming out in reverse. It's a couple here. It's a couple that played to be your parents. It's a couple that made deals with the devil. It's a couple that signed up to be debt-free for the rest of their life if they were your handlers. Okay? 
if they signed up to be your parental figures. A couple is being flipped in reverse. They may even be hiding out at a hotel or a motel at the Holiday Inn, goddammit. Okay? Trying to figure out how they can use a bioweapon against you. Maybe some type of chemicals or something like that. Okay? Something like that of that nature. Trying to still figure out how to murder you and take you out and assassinate you. Okay? But Spirit is saying here, Collective, your struggles are over. Struggle in reverse. Your struggles are over. Okay? Your struggles are over. All right? It's a war that's going on, whether these people know it or not. It's a spiritual war that's going on here. It's a war that's going on that's about to manifest on the 3D. It's a spiritual 5D war that's going on that's about to manifest on the 3D. That's going back to that military as well here. Somebody could have been the head of the military or involved in the military. Okay? So this person could have found out something here. Started exposing some of your parental figure. Okay? This led to some type of war and battle between them and other law officials or government officials or lawmakers here. Okay, there's some shit that went on before your time, like I said, which led to a, a war, which led to your parental figure being taken out, your family, your bloodline being uh, annihilated or broken up here in some type of way here. Okay. Spirits say they want you to go missing here, collective, but you're still alive. It's a Republican that may be behind this here. Your parental figure, okay, could have been a Republican or it's a Republican that wants you to go missing. Collected, but you're still alive. For some of y'all, y'all could even have pro family is what I'm getting. Parental figures. Maybe even a grandparent, great-grandparent, or different family members that's still alive. You have family members that's still alive. You were kidnapped and taken here from your bloodline, from your family. You went missing here. You still missing here from your family. Your real family, you're considering still missing or kidnapped. They don't know what happened to you. But Spirit just laid it out on why this happened to you. And if your family or parental figure, if one of your family or parental figures or someone in your bloodline wasn't taken out, then they took you, they stole you. You went missing. You came up kidnapped in order to... This was some type of war that was going on between other, between law officials and government officials and shit that you had no knowledge about. Okay? Spirit is clarifying that you have family that's still alive though. Okay? What else do you want to get a collective to close out this message? Spirit wants you to know here that whoever this person is, because I feel like it's someone at the head of this I feel like it's two people. We know it's a lot of people involved, but I feel like it's a feminine energy that's angry, okay? It's a masculine energy that's angry, okay? I feel like these people are, they have mental health issues here, and I also feel like they're having meetings right now behind the scenes. And the meetings, in these meetings, they're talking about how they try to, um, they try to create a situation collected to where you would look like you was mentally unhealthy like you had mental health issues they're creating they have done this here to cause you to have mental health issues to make you lose your mind to make you take yourself out because of all the drama and chaos and conflict that they've been creating in your life they wanted you to they wanted you to show up as someone that was mentally unhealthy they wanted you to show up and be seen as someone that had mental problems and then they were going to take you out and murder you and make it seem like you committed suicide because you have mental health issues. This is what they're talking about right now. Talking about doing something at your home here. But Spirit said it's healing that's going on around your home. Whatever they're talking about, we're talking about this now. We're talking about the healing that's going on around your home. We talking about the healing that's going on around your home. These people talking about meeting up and talking about what they gonna do here around your home. But spirit out this going back to this damn um neighborhood and assassination here in reverse. I already told you this homicide and shit. They talking about what they going to do around your home here. 
to take you where our spirit is saying, we're going to talk about what's really going on around your home, healing. And it ain't coming from below, it's coming from God, the most high. Period. Let's close it out with us, spirit. This is about legal proceedings here. These people don't want you to have some type of legal proceedings. They don't want to go through these legal proceedings because it's being illuminated. It has been illuminated to you, collected, that you have major, major, major generational wealth that belongs to you or it's about to be illuminated. Or this could be bits and pieces that God is giving you a little bit at a time. And they know eventually everything is going to be illuminated to you or things have already been illuminated. They in fear of this because they, they can't use you, you as their power supply. Everybody that's involved that's been using you as their power supply, using your family, your bloodline, your DNA, using something and taking, I don't know how they did this shit collecting, but it was done. It was done to somebody. And this is a major damn disgrace here. Spirit, what else do you want the collective to know to close out this message? What do you want to leave the collective with? These people at a crossroads now. Especially when it comes down to legal proceedings. This is why they're having these damn meetings and shit. And still plotting and planning on how they can make it seem like you took yourself out. And then they can say, oh, it was mental health issues. They still plotting and planning on how they can clean this shit up. This evil shit up. Spirit is saying they at a crossroads with this shit. They at a crossroads with this shit. They took the road. They went down the path here to commit fraud and doing evil crimes and, and acts and injustice things. Okay? This is what they chose to do. Okay? This is what they chose to do. Yes, these people meeting and communicating behind the scenes with each other about you. Yes, they have affairs. Yes, they have um, their accomplices and partners in crimes and shit. Okay? Yes, they are focused on money and greed and power and control. Okay? Yes. Yes, collective. Yes. This is the other deck that I had already shuffled and cleansed. Spirit is saying someone is watching you. They have your back. Spirit is saying whatever these people are planning, it won't ever happen. Spirit is saying that you are going to receive a letter, some news, some information, text, call, email, documents, call, pop up. Okay, whatever this may be. You've been waiting on something. You're going to get it. Spirit is saying here, this is someone you never dated. So I feel like whoever this masculine that's connected to this female here is someone you never dated, someone you've never been with. Spirit is just letting you know that um, also I feel like whoever the person that's watching you, collected that has your back, this, this someone you never dated is giving me the energy of someone you really don't know. But this person knows about what these people are doing. This person knows who you are and knows who these people are. And this person is going to make sure that these people won't be able to harm you in any type of way. This person is going to make sure that you get some type of news, letter, information, or some type of confirmation or communication here. Okay? That's going to come in for you. Okay? You've never dated this individual. Spirit want to clarify that for somebody. So, so somebody may be thinking, is this someone that you dated? But it's not. Okay? It's not. All right? Something going to happen on a Monday here. This meeting could have took place on a Monday or it will take place on a Monday here. These people are greedy. They still try to figure out how to take you out and make it look like this and look like that. But Spirit is saying, hell to the no, no, no. Okay? Hell to the no, no, no. Okay, hell to the no, no, no. All right, you got an ex uh, karmic lover here that's involved in this shit too, collective. That's pissed because they being exposed. Okay, for being a part of this or having getting paid to be a part of this here. Okay, getting paid to be a damn op, getting paid to be a handler or a watcher. Okay, what else do you want the collective to know about this to close this out? Spirit is saying you're very secure, whether you know it or not. You are a secure person. You have generational wealth here. Okay, and everybody talking about this shit. And this going back to that meeting. And that everybody is the people that's involved in this. That everybody is everybody that's been taken from you and using you as their power support, uh, support source. And using you as their support system collective. Okay? What else do you want the collective to know? Spirit wants you to know that you will be compensated. And I'm going to leave it there. 
I'm going to leave it there. You will be compensated. So thank you guys so much. I think I'm going to call it there and leave it there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all stay safe and protected and blessed out there these holidays. Happy holidays, everyone, to you and yours. Until the next message, peace.